When the most massive stars die in a supernova, their cores collapse under unstoppable gravity. The collapse is so extreme that space itself caves in, creating a black hole, high place where gravity is so strong that even time, which as we know is fourth dimension by Einstein theory, bends and slows down and nothing, not even light, can escape. Some black holes are just a few kilometers wide, yet they can be heavier than our sun, but there are also some supermassive black holes with heavier masses in the universe, like the heaviest one we know was once Ton 618, which was about 66 billion suns in mass. But according to new researches in astronomy, the giant black hole now is Phonix A, is about 100 billion suns mass. And here's the crazy part. Near a black hole, if you spend even just an amount of time or an hour, years could pass for someone far away waiting for you, just like we have seen in the movie. Interstellar's black hole Gargantua. In the movie Interstellar, scientists used real physics to show how actually light wraps around the black hole, without showing even a shine in center, creating its glowing warped halo, an accretion disk twisted by gravity. But here's the catch. Black holes are invisible unless they're feeding. When a star or planet drifts too close, the black hole rips it apart, and the falling matter glows brighter than billions of suns. And not all black holes are born from stars. Astronomers believe some supermassive black holes at millions of times, heavier than the sun, formed in the early universe, even before galaxies existed. So black holes aren't just the graves of stars. They're cosmic monsters, time-benders, and hidden engines shaping our universe. Follow for more mysteries of space and time.